Hi folks, uh, right, uh, a well gessoed piece of uh, watercolour paper, it's uh, got a bit uh, croggly. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, no idea what I'm going to paint, I'm just going to start, I'll put a sky in and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I like moorland. If, if I say English moor, I also mean Welsh, Welsh, uh, Welsh moors and Scottish moors. My mate Keith reminded me of that, I and mean, he lives in Wales. And as Keith Evans that is, and I'm sure some of you, a lot of you, follow him. Uh, great artist. Right. So I've got some vet gel and a bit of PVA glue. It's all acrylic. I've uh, got my cloth ready to to go. Got my pinny on. No coffee or tea. But this uh, blue tack is so useful for for holding the palette on here. It took me well. I, I, I copied the idea from someone else. Uh, right. Okay. So let's let's get in with a bit of bit of. Uh, So it's a bit, oh, it's a bit wobbly. Hard to pull that down there because if I do it, it swivels down. I uh, can't have everything, can we? Normally, well, in the old days, before I started doing YouTube, I would be doing this uh, on its uh, on, a, on a vertical board on my studio easel, my radial easel. Interesting colour, isn't it? Just getting some paint on there. Make that a little bit red on there. A bit of, bit of yellow in there, I think. Bit of viridian got on the brush. So I think with if you're a sky person, such as I am, you, you can keep your landscape often, as often as not, to the minimum. But I'm just just killing the canvas. This this is um, I primed the other side with uh, PVA glue to seal it, and this side. Um, some gesso, white gesso, and when that was dry, well I dried it with a hairdryer, I uh, added some chalk dust, all very subtle this, I like moorland, I really do. I, um, I did one, I think yesterday. Oh, let's clean that off. That's a bit, bit annoying. Let's uh, pull that up a little bit. Uh, right, let's just clean that off. Bit of tissue. Let's clean that uh, viridian off. Right. So the papers always come and start there. Right. Okay. Uh, let that dry off a bit. We'll put in a bit of uh, a bit of a. Uh, Some, some vet gel in there. Vet gel uh, is uh, stuff that is, is a gel that the vets use to for obstetric purposes. Like the uh, case of the 
Well, turn it up. I haven't got down far enough with that, but I'll, I'll, I'll go up rather than bring the sky down any further, I think. Uh, right, a bit of, uh, bit of blue, a bit of... bit of blue, bit of red. Okay, that's just a just a bit of colour on there. Right, let's just put in some uh, a bit of brilliant. I'm not sort of painting with anything in mind at the moment other than moorland. That's, uh, I might have to just lay this palette down a bit more. It's uh, gravity's uh, playing havoc. Uh, whoops, havoc, sorry, I'll also the camera. Oh, that's all right. Uh, okay, you can just about see everything. That's my finger. Oh, uh, well. I'll just take it up a little bit. Right, you can just about see the bottom of that. Uh, if I move the easel back a bit, turn it out. Right, okay, so let's just put in some uh, bit, of, bit of colour. The background's very, th very thin there. So, um, just try blue, let's keep my change the brush. Uh. So the jet, the, the, the vet's gel holds the uh, paint workable for quite a bit longer than just using water or PVA glue. Uh, It's all to be changed. This is just a, just working around. Okay, coming on. See if I can flatten that a bit. Clean the brush, because I want to carry on with that one. I might put some little buildings in this. Some trees, the old tree here and there, just a bit of abstracty. Uh, right, now I'm going to work on this, this sky. I'm not happy with that, so let's get some... I'll clean that off the top there, because I'll put black in there, and that will get in everything. So. Alright, as usual, I've lost uh, 
I know that is. It's a little pallet knife, but I'll just. Right, okay, let's uh, bash on with, with, with this now. So we've got a darker blue, blue red. I might leave some of that showing through, but it uh, paints a little bit uh, over diluted with the gel at the moment. I'll just thicken up this uh, bit of blue now. I really should have uh, primed, but added some burnt sienna or burnt umber to the primer at the beginning. But it's, we can have some of that ground showing through. Nothing wrong with that. It's one thing having a, um, a, a mid colour there is that you can't put light over it because it just appears too light. So that's why I'm darkening it. That's what I say. If you have no plan for this painting other than let's put some some paint on. And we've got we've got the basis of a view there. And we'll some nice lighter blue here. Some lighter blue in here. This brush is not a particularly good example of the varnish brush that I like to use. This, this hairs are going all over the place, but, but it's okay for just doing this. Right, okay, now put that in the drink. Let's, uh, well, I've got these uh, lovely brushes here that I've got. Bought on one, bought on money. Well, the one I had and one I duplicated, but I think maybe. So let's get a bit of orangey light. That red, these reds are very, very strong. They're the. Um, the. Um, the range brushes.
for that. Thanks for that. Oh, look at that. Far too red. And this nice light Colour coming up over that horizon there. I'm going to put some up here. for a minute I'm quite quite happy with that it's a simple enough sky I wasted time putting that creamy coat on first but, uh, now I want just to get some very faint Just soften. Right, okay. We'll put some light now. Um, get some light on here. Right, and we want some lightish colours on that horizon now. So. That's a bit of shadow on there. Like 
Now I found that if I if you over blend, the painting tends to end up with rather dull. I like I like the the blue, the blue in the. Oh, not that. Yeah, that's all right. Get some light in there now. Just trying to create a, 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 an impression of wildness. I don't know if there's anything. Definitely. Now I wonder if that will uh, put more blue in there, I think. It's the lightest of light yellows here. Try that colour, see what that does. Let's uh, start to uh, rise well, a bit, bit brighter still here. Just having an experiment in here, but it's a lovely uh, viridian. Let's have some warmer greens here. Right, let's populate with a few uh, bits of. Uh, uh, I'm looking for a round, my round brush. Here it is. Let's see if I try. No, that's not a round one. And then it would be round. Well, it is a round, but that's not one. That's not quite the one I want. Well, I'll use this one. There's a filbert. Let's put put some some uh, nicer uh, eye black. 
the palette is a bit crowded, isn't it? I've picked up several of those. Uh, Right, let's sort of put some uh, trees in here. That's a bit better, we can... Just put in some hints of trees. I can clean it up afterwards. Right, uh, let's uh, go perhaps a little bit bigger with some of those. That Viridian is such a useful colour, I'm just mixing it with a bit of blue and a bit of red. Let's just uh, make these a little bit bigger. Okay, now we want some on the other side too, so there's a bit of red, bit of, bit of that, bit of green, uh, we'll have a, Let's get a little bit of, bit of lighter uh, ochre on in there. Uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't have connected that line. Let's just paint those out.
so just breaking that, breaking into that uh, mass of trees there, just to paint some of those out. Go back to that when that's dry. I think we'll okay, let's go a bit further back now. Just to get that sort of viridian, that's a blue viridian, a bit of white. Not sure about that colour. It's lovely that uh, Viridian with a bit of Ultramarine or a bit of Cobalt, whatever you want. I don't want to put too much of this in. Someone asked me what the size of this palette was. Well, the mixing bit, the tray, is 12 inches by 9, they're quite right. So that light coming through there. Lost me way there a little bit. That's a lovely colour, that, that one there. But I'm not going to put too much. I'll put a bit some bushy stuff in down in the foreground here. There's a bit of this, bit of that. Mixing a lot of warm colours here, the Viridian, the yellow. put a little path in. I've got to do something with this bit here, so I'll... Uh, hmm. Stuck. Let's just take that down a little bit.
This is sort of an umber sort of feel going across there. A bit of blue and a bit of bit of umber. Just wonder if we can put a little path in there. I'm going to use this a little, a little brush now for some detail on that background here. Let's put some slowly off white buildings here. Um, hey. Some buildings on there, we'll uh, put some sheep in here. Oh, some little sheep here and there. That's not really working, is it? This side put something here. here. Just a little bit of simple detail. I'm sort of labouring this a little bit. Uh, because this is a bit lumpy, it's, it's on the camera, it's on the, the, the uh, screen. It's showing as uh, like light and shade. But uh, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, I think we've got we've got the uh, the wildness of of, of a moor. I'm going to let that go. Uh, Comes to twenty two. I'll just sign it. I'll put a mount on it, and we'll have a look at it. Let's use a bat. It's easier said than done, right? Maybe we can just add a little bit of uh, some good light in there. It's, it does seem a little bit dull. So let's go in with a nice, nice yellow, bit of Viridian, bit of white. That might be a bit unrealistic, so I'll add a bit of, bit of ochre to that.
You've really set those trees a bit, haven't you? It's a little bit brighter. Do a good, good abstract for you, yeah. Alright, let's go back to my little filbert and just connect up that one. I think I, I might have been a bit hasty just taking those out there. Red, blue, iridium, the yellow. It's going to be just a little bit bigger there. I really like uh, doing uh, trees. This is We'll put it in a, in a mount and we'll uh, have a look at it. Just pull that off and take, take the uh, blue sack Ooh, off of that. Try not to get it on the floor, trodden into my rug. Oh, come on. Gotcha. Right, okay, let's put that to one side. And I've just dropped it on the floor. You know, I have to find it, haven't I? Oh, there it is. Right, I'll move this over. Careful. use a small amount so try this double mount uh, well that um, seems to be okay it's a good size isn't it So steadies the uh, ship. Right. Well, there we are. Well, it's quite. It's not. It's sort of semi-abstract. We've got the distance, and we've got the uh, warmer colours coming to the foreground. We're just going to go back a bit. There. Uh, that's better. More, more foreground. There we are. I'll wait that somehow. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Thanks for looking in. Bye-bye.